Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Pope Francis urges Catholics to reject the materialism that often pervades the holiday season. In his annual Christmas Eve Mass, Pope Francis asked Catholics to push back on a society so often intoxicated by consumerism and hedonism, wealth and extravagance, appearances and narcissism. In the Philippines, 72% of Filipinos expect Christmas in 2015 to be happy, the highest in 12 years, higher than 2014, 71%. Polling firm Social Weather Stations points to a record high number of Filipinos, 77%, who think it's better to give. This is two percentage points higher than 2014, 75%. In Paris, Christmas Eve was subdued with tourist numbers down, security bolstered at shops and churches, and people still on edge after last month's jihadist attacks. In China, U.S. and British embassies warned of possible violence against Westerners in Beijing. In Somalia, religious authorities canceled Christmas out of fear festivities could provoke attacks by the Al-Qaeda-linked Shabaab. That doesn't compare to the fear of celebrating Christmas in the Syrian town of Sadad on the front lines with ISIS. Sadad was once the country predominantly Syriac Orthodox majority town where only a few families remain. Two legends in the fields of journalism and sports die Christmas Eve. The Philippine Daily Inquirer announced Thursday night its editor-in-chief, veteran journalist Leti Jimenez Magsanok, is dead. Magsanok's career spans several decades. As editor-in-chief of Panorama under the Marcos regime, she was forced to resign after writing an article critical of the government. It was seen as one of the key moments in the anti-Marcos movement in the 1980s. She would later become one of the founders of the Inquirer and eventually become its editor-in-chief in in 1991. The other sad news this Christmas is the death of Ron Jacobs, the American basketball coach who introduced new tactics to Philippine basketball during the 80s and 90s. He died at the age of 72. No official cause of death is reported, but Jacobs had been unable to walk or speak after a stroke in 2001. As coach of the Philippine national team, he helped win the 1982 Asian Basketball Confederation Youth title and 1985 William Jones Cup. Miss Universe 2015 Pia Wurzbach sends a Christmas Day message to runner-up Ariadna Gutierrez. Wurzbach says, quote, To Ariadna, you're an amazing woman and we are now bonded together forever by a unique experience. She adds, Fate has a plan for you and I'm excited to see what's ahead. On Coronation Night, host Steve Harvey announced Miss Columbia won Miss Universe but immediately apologized for the mistake. <laughs> Syria's ruling regime says it's ready to take part in new talks in Geneva to end civil war, but seems to make it conditional on which groups attend. Last week, the United Nations Security Council unanimously adopted a resolution endorsing a proposed peace plan for Syria, including what it called the establishment of an inclusive transitional governing body with full executive powers. The resolution doesn't address the sharpest difference between opposition groups and the regime, the fate of President Bashar al-Assad. Pop superstar Janet Jackson temporarily stops her global tour for surgery, but it's unclear what for. Jackson, 49, says her doctors told her she needed an operation soon. She says, quote, It breaks my heart to tell you that I'm forced to postpone the Unbreakable tour until spring. Jackson released Unbreakable in October, her first album since the death of her brother Michael in 2009. The death of the King of Pop led Janet to retreat from the public eye. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates at 12 noon and at 6 p.m. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.